Hello dear Nimble users, this is a clip that shows you how to start with Nimble from scratch after your first registration. I just logged in as a new user and I am uh, during the first day of my 14 day free trial. This is the screen you will see and you can see I can either create uh, a first product or I can import my listings or if I already imported my listings I can hit this uh, reddish button and just refresh this page which is the products tab. Most of you ask us how to import listings so just let's click here and see how to move on. We, the system brings us to the channels tab where we can, uh, we can see we have a, a bunch of channels. None of this is configured yet so let's try to log in to eBay to start with. So first thing you have to set up at least one channel and uh, we can enable imports from four channels, imports from Shopify, from Etsy, from eBay, and from PrestaShop. It doesn't import from anything else. It does not import from Amazon, for instance. Many of you ask this, it doesn't import from Amazon. Let's log in to eBay, click the login button. The system brings you on eBay where you log in with your own login name and password, sign in and you agree Nimble to access your account and the system comes back on Nimble where you will see the eBay tab will uh, slowly move uh, in the configured, here we are, configured um, column and uh, the eBay settings open up, opens up. We got published to eBay settings and import from eBay settings. Uh, we made a change and right now users can import 10 products and can use the full settings uh, which are normally reserved to uh, larger plans subscribers while the basic plan or either small plan subscribers can only import active listings they do not get the, the choice to select what they wish to import so if they have you know thousands of listings within eBay um, and other channels for that is the same rule uh, if they have thousands of listings in eBay they will uh, import just 500 random of those listings uh, if instead you um, you subscribe to a larger plan, you can you have access to the settings and you can tell the system to import only active or uh, only sold or unsold or all all listings and so on. So let's go on on eBay now to understand what I'm talking about. First of all, one note: this is my my eBay the, the my my account settings. You must have the business policies rule active. Uh, the business policies rule manager active. If you do not have this link here, let me make it bigger a little bit, business policies, you have to ask eBay to set it up. Just a few of you do not have it. The, the majority of us uh, eBay sellers do have business policies uh, here and, uh, and it will work fine. Otherwise, ask eBay to activate it, right? Now let's go on my selling overview. We can we can see that I got in my account five active listings and nine, 19 unsold and uh, zero sold. So to make a test, the Nimble will import ten listings. So I will uh, select here that uh, instead of importing the five active, I will import ten of the sold and unsold. Then I can tell the system that I want auctions, only auctions, only buy now or all. And I can also select from what eBay site I am importing from. So if I do have listings on more than one eBay site, I can tell, for instance, just import it from the eBay.de, which is Germany and so on. Right now, we just leave it on, on all, save changes. And uh, you can see settings have been saved. I just hit import. System asks me, uh, are you sure you want to import? Yes, I am. And uh, I just go on with the test because right now here is prompting me to, to import more than 10. At this point, the import is running. It's going to take some time. I go back on the products list and wow, the, not so much time. I already imported 10 items, you can see. 10 items among the 19 which were uh, inactive into my eBay, right? So right now I can click on, on any of these items and I can do either, I click here and I can log into more channels to publish the listing exactly as it is 
or otherwise if I want to edit this this product again I click here I duplicate it and now I can edit I access to whatever number of pictures were there I can change the price I can change the title this is a test product again so let's say I just uh, get rid of one picture and uh, I also get rid of this picture and I just change test here and I make it more expensive actually $2.99 and I and I save okay at this point I will have one more product which is uh, very much similar to the one I duplicated with, with the changes I just I just did and uh, right now if I want to publish it I just click here and I have to I can either publish it back on eBay because I made a change but uh, the most important thing is that I can go on channels log in on more channels and publish it on additional channels all right thank you very much for now cheers bye bye